Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to part three, or day three, I should say, of this war of mine. And yeah, last time we learned a pretty valuable lesson, and I guess that is that you can never take things too slow. So we're going to try to be more careful as we go through day three. All right, so Bruno has died, of course, last mission, and he was killed while looking for supplies. We were also raided, and someone came at night and took a lot of our stuff, including some of our gun parts, which really sucks. Uh, it was a terrible night. Oh, wait. Did it change it? They only steal uh, carrots and water. So that's actually pretty damn good. Now, oh that's cool, you can just switch between characters if you press tab. So here's the problems we have. Pavel's hungry, slightly sick, he's kind of recovering. And slightly wounded, he's also recovering from that. So I guess they did hurt him during the raid. And he's sad, so we gotta get him some moonshine. And also some food. So if we can take him, he's not tired at all. So let's grab him. Do we not have food? Dang it, they must have took everything. And then Katya, uh, she slept poorly, she's hungry, and she's wounded and sad. So they're both sad, so we need some moonshine. But let's go ahead and have her sleep instead. And then our boy Pavel can hopefully make us some stuff. Because that would be pretty damn good. Maybe get us another bed and whatnot. Or even a one of these. Metal workshop, but I guess we still don't have enough for some reason. Uh, how long? Yeah, I don't know why. I wonder if that's a glitch or something. But we don't seem to be able to make any of these right now, except for uh, fuel. And I believe we don't really need that. So if we can instead have him come down and clear this, that would be pretty good. And what else do we have? Nothing really more to clear except for this door. So if he can brash through there, that would be good. So yeah, I think we were clearing this thing out before, but uh, before, or yeah, we were trying to clear it out, but then night times must have struck too soon. But I really want to take a look and see what's in this metal cabinet over here. Hopefully it's something good. And then yeah, Katya's still getting some sleep, and we're going to need her, because she's got some good bargaining skills, which is important in this game, just when you're trying to trade. Um, slightly wounded too. I think what we're going to do is send Pavel out to scavenge. And since he's going to be doing that, uh, I believe, yeah, we got to use this bandage on him. Because we can't have him dying. Because then we'll be down to just one person, and that's not going to cut it. Because then she's never going to be able to get sleep if we scavenge every single time. And I mean, if we don't scavenge, it's going to be a little bit boring. So I'll try to scavenge every day. At least with one person. Is he almost done? No. Oh, good. Katya, though. She's good with her sleep, so if we can grab her and maybe check, uh, can she check this rubble right here? Or is this for the ladder? Pretty sure it's rubble. She is moving slow though, that sucks. Okay, but good, Pavel is done, what did you find, boy? Um, oh, nice, we got to keep our diamond, also the pistol part, so it must have kind of changed things up. We also got a lock pick. You know what, let's just grab all that, and then we can exit. And now, Pavel, my friend, go ahead and break through here. Hopefully find us again, dude. Please find us again. And then you, my friend, you can check this. Maybe we already checked it, but I can't really remember. Hopefully there's some new stuff to be found. Also, this guy found books, sugar, and what are these? Medications? Fantastic. Okay. Well, since we have all those... I think it's time to start getting these guys healed up, so let's take him. He's sick. I don't think Katya's sick, so let's get him meds, and then we'll also bandage him. But man, they're moving slow. We gotta get him some moonshine. Yeah, I think if we build him a chair, that also may speed things up. Uh, Katya, what's wrong? Did you check in there? Oh, it's locked, I see. I think if you have crowbars, you can actually break those open. So, what's next on the agenda? We need to have her, I believe, let's try to get her to make a chair. We might have enough supplies now. Hopefully. And then after he takes that medicine, let's check to see how he's doing. Um, he's on meds, so that's good. And then we also bandage him. Good. And then you, let's have you craft us a chair. Nice, we can actually make it. Oh my gosh! Okay, so maybe she can make everything, but Pavel can't. 
So that's kind of cool. So let's have her make that. And we can place it just right here. Now we should be able to make a bunch of metal stuff. Hopefully guns, possibly, or at least try to fix ourselves up with a gun. Um, he's bandages, so he's still slightly wounded, but he's on meds and bandages as well. Uh, by the way, I did realize that you couldn't see the mouse cursor in the previous two videos, so I apologize for that. But um, hopefully you guys can see it now. I think I changed it. Maybe not. Just let me know in the comments if I still have it. But it should be easier to kind of tell what I'm talking about now. Hopefully. Um, Pavel, what are you doing? Go up and sit down, dude. Oh my gosh, that sucks. He's saying it hurts, but he'll manage. That means these guys are just hurting to even walk around. Okay, let's see what this thing has to offer. A crowbar, yes. We definitely need one of those. And then shovels. Oh man, this is perfect. So I think the crowbars can break open locks. Shovels can dig through rubble faster. And then knives, I believe you can stab people with them. And if we're going to go scavenging, we got to be well equipped this time. I can't have anyone dying. Why can't she make that? Oh, we don't have enough of these. So that's on the agenda tonight for the scavenge. And then also some wood would be nice. Um, but for now, we might as well make this crowbar if we can. Maybe not. A lockpick could be nice. Although I don't really want to waste anything. Let's not do that. And then he is... He's sitting down, but apparently that doesn't fix their sadness. It is getting late, 6, 10 p.m. Alright, well... He's not tired. How about... She's not tired either. Okay, we're pretty much good. Clock's ticking, so we're about to leave. I don't really think we have time to do anything else except kind of prepare. Maybe we can have her make something really quick. Who cares? We'll get a lockpick. We may end up needing it. Hmm. I really want to figure out how to craft or repair our guns. That would be nice. What does this do? Oh, we can upgrade our things. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, one improved metal workshop we've made. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely have to do that sooner or later. Um, 7.40, usually it has us leave at about 8 o'clock. And let's just, okay, guess it's night time. So, they both have the same amount of slots. Hmm. I think, who's in better condition? They're both pretty much the same, except Pavel's sick. So we're going to have her guard. He can scavenge. And, oh, new, small apartment building. Uh, ruined villa. Hmm. Oh, where did we go last time? It was the villa. We got to go. And we can take, what do we want to take? Let's go with nothing. Okay, so here we are. And if we remember last time, this is actually where Bruno died. And... Oh man, Pavel could end up dying here as well if we're not careful. But I mean, we got new stuff to grab. I'm going to be trying to be as sneaky as possible. Um, I'd rather just go back with only a few items than go back with nothing if we die. So I'll keep it slow. I'll try to use the hiding spots to the best of my advantages as well. But yeah, we really need a knife. Or at least a gun, something like that. I'm pretty sure the guns, they may make too much noise, but at least they do a little more damage. Hang on, close that door. Actually, we may want the front door open, do we? Yeah, that could be good. Okay, and then downstairs we had... Here, let's take a peek in this room just to make sure no one's in there. Okay. So let's see, what was in here? Oh, lots of stuff, wow. Grab it all, okay. That should come in handy pretty soon. And then, one more peek. Okay, it's clear. Wait a minute, oh, it's barred, okay. We gotta go the hard way then. Still looks like no one's really coming for us. So that's good. Um, there is a hiding spot right here just in case. So I'm going to go through there. And then, wait a minute, what's this? Here, let's close the door. 
Okay, let's check this out. Maybe Bruno wasn't the kindest person I knew, but we were in this together, and now he's dead. Oh, damn. I think we can grab his supplies, though. Still no sign of the people. What did he have? He had a lockpick. That would be good. And food. We are running low on that, so that's going to be perfect, actually. Okay, nice. And then maybe we'll get rid of these just to make room for something else. Oops. Okay, maybe some of these. There we go. And then we'll check this out really fast if we can. I just really don't want to be spotted. Uh, nothing that we really need in there. I'm just trying to... Oh crap, someone's down there. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, they are... Oh crap. It's getting a little dangerous now. Hmm. Oh, he's going all the way upstairs. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Oh no, has she seen us? She's seen us. We gotta go now. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, nice. Well, guys, Pavel made it back, luckily untouched, and let's see, what were we rated or anything? Let's see, tonight he had a really good luck. The night was calm. No, it wasn't really calm, but at least we were not really wounded at all. Um, okay, good. So everything is good back here. We had a good little run. We retrieved all the stuff that Bruno lost when he died. Um, so yeah, overall, good day. I know it's a little bit shorter because we had to kind of run off but I just want to thank you guys for watching make sure and stick around for day number four if you want to and anyways guys thanks again and as always I will see you next time